Hi everyone, this is Joe Alvarez and Marco Joe with your Brother Ice Standard Newscast. On Thursday, February 16th, Brother Ice held a dress down day fundraiser for Our Lady of the Ridge Grammar School. Our Lady of the Ridge needs a lot of money to stay open, and our Crusaders were more than willing to help the school out. The Brother Ice Crusaders raised $1,094. Thank you, students and staff, for your help. I think the dress down day was important because me personally, I come from a Catholic grammar school, and I would hate to see mine closed down. And we, uh, we want to make new opportunities for new kids going into Catholic schools to learn about God. And I think it's really important that we help those in need. Valentine's Day is that special time to surprise or profess your love to that special someone. The love fills the air around this time every year. Do you really know the history of Valentine's Day? In fact, it is actually named after St. Valentine. I spoke with theology teacher Mr. Albany's about what St. Valentine was and the stories behind him. He was a, a martyr in ancient Rome about the third, fourth century. Uh, much about him is lost in legend. However, there are illusions in history to people celebrating Valentine's Day. It's associated with lovers. Uh, the legend seems to be that St. Valentine would take care of the widows in his parish and bring them flowers on a certain day. It also happened to be the time when uh, certain birds were mating in a certain spot. So the tradition of the flowers and the love and the birds and the mating and everything just got thrown together. Uh, and fortunately, it's hung on for quite a long time. I think it's a great part of our culture uh, that we celebrate it the way that we do. And it's a great opportunity to express to uh, the women in our lives uh, the love that we have for them. On Sunday, February 12th, the Crusaders squared off against the St. Lawrence Vikings in the second round of the Chicago Catholic League basketball tournament. Mike Shevsky, with ice in his veins, hit two game-time threes and tossed up the overtime game winner from just in front of the half-court line to give Rice a 44-41 win. The semifinal, the Crusaders fell in a tough game to the Chargers of St. Joseph by a score of 48-46. Shevsky was fantastic again, leading the team with 23 points. The Crusaders finished the tournament in fourth place after losing to the Loyola Ramblers 47-41 to on Friday, February 17th. Yeah, it was a great team effort throughout. I was uh, fortunate enough to get the game-winning shot, and I'm happy when it was so much fun celebrating with my guys. On Thursday, February 16th, the Brother Ice wrestling team traveled to the IHSA State Tournament. Junior Hassan Johnson at 120, Senior Ramon Johnson at 145, and Senior Scott Zerzega at 220 advanced to the semifinals. Ramon Johnson finished in fourth place, and Miles Ruffin avenged a first-round loss and finished in third place. Scott Trezega and Hassan Johnson finished second place in the state. This is the strongest showing at state in Brother Ice history. Great job, Crusader Mattman. Going to our state was uh, pretty fun. Going with the team, it was a good experience. It was fun sleeping with the seniors. I uh, room with uh, one of my seniors, Ramon. It was real fun. He was uh, telling me stuff that he thought I should do, like some of his rituals and stuff, like stretching before, go to sleep, and waking up and it was pretty fun just going down there and watching the grand march when everybody uh for the finals it was really fun they turned off all the lights and it was just it was a great experience hi i'm dan rudin with your brother s movie review the space between us is a film about two people in the love that is a distance of two planets although it is only rated a 6.3 out of 10 from imdb and a 70 percent by rotten tomatoes it is a great valentine's day gift for that special friend well, you're going to have to see the movie for yourself to see what happened. I saw the movie with a good friend of mine, Fiona, and let's see what she had to say about the movie. Hey guys, this is a review on The Space Between Us. I'm here with my good friend, Fiona, who we went to go see it a few weeks ago. And so, uh, what are your opinions at first on the movie? Um, I really liked it. I really didn't think I was going to like it at first because I knew it had like an astronomy aspect to it, and I'm not like fully like into that. But I liked it because it combined... Um, you know, science and like a love story together, so. Yeah, I like the science portion of it. That's my favorite part. <laughs> Valentine's Day is coming up. It's all boys Catholic high school. Got Macaulay right next door. Would you uh, recommend this for us to take that special someone out, to, uh, out on a date for Valentine's Day? I would, because like, like I said, it's not just all a chick flick. It's, um, there's parts that guys would be intrigued to. And um, I just thought, like we both liked it. So I thought, you know, yeah, I liked it. It was pretty good. Even though you said the movie was great, if you could change one thing, what would it be? The one thing I would change was the ending when um, the two main characters um, couldn't stay or both go to Mars. That was the one thing I was kind of disappointed at. But 
And other than that, it was really good. I wouldn't change anything. All right, thanks, guys. Hi, everyone. This is Nick Kimera with your Brother Ice TV review. The hit fact show 24 has returned to television. 24 originally aired around 9-11 and offered viewers a look into the life of CTU, better known as the County Terrorism Unit in Los Angeles. The original show starred Kiefer Sutherland as federal agent and renegade Jack Bauer. As eight seasons in the made-for-TV movie went by, Jack Bauer saved the country and possibly the world countless times. In 2010, the show was officially canceled. The symbolic clock stopped ticking and 24 was finished. But then four years later, the show returned for a 12 episode miniseries called 24 Live Another Day. The show continues on today in the form of a spin-off called 24 Legacy, following ex-Special Forces operative Eric Carter. I interviewed my good friend and longtime 24 viewer, Joe Case, to see how 24 Legacy compares to the original series. So as hard as it is to get 24 to be 24 without Cooper Sutherland, without Jack Bauer as the main character, they, they still do a great job incorporating new characters and even like new actors and actresses to begin with. Like Jimmy Smith is there. A lot of people know Jimmy Smith. He's this popular actor. But then they also have the new guy that's playing Carter. I have never seen him before. But he's doing a great job. He's he's like filling in that role of who Kiefer Sutherland would be. And in order for it to be 24, to be what everybody wants it to be, what everybody's watching it to see, you need that role, and he's fitting it perfectly. So it's like the casting and everything, just so well done, and just like the fact that it's going like taking place like an hour in each day, it's just so satisfying to see that again on television. Thanks for watching this week's standard newscast, and don't forget to subscribe to our Brother Right Chicago channel. There you go.